We are back and uh, we're talking today about stars. So what I want you to start off with is I want you to make a star shape with your body. I want you to stand your legs out wide and reach your arms out wide too and just stretch them out really long. And you guys are making a star. You guys are your own little stars. You guys are my stars and I love it. Oh, I hope that felt good to you. That felt good to me to get a good stretch in. Um, so we're talking about stars today. And I also have a song about stars. And I think you guys know it too. So I was wondering if you could sing it with me. Ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Good job, friends. Um, we have, we are going to just get started on the day. I, was, I don't know what I was saying. Here we go. Let's look into the month. Oh my gosh, friends. Our month is almost over. We're in April 2020. Let's count together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And what comes next is 30. 3, 0 is Thursday. 30. And it is no longer Wednesday. It is Thursday. Let's double check that. Ready? Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday, days of the week. All right, today is Thursday. And I wonder what the weather is. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? All together, what's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy or windy? What's the temperature? What's the temperature? Is it hot or is it cold? I wonder what the temperature is. But let's go ahead and check out our question of the day. Question of the day is, do you like to go out at night and look at the stars? I do like to go out and look at the stars at night. And I like to think about how big God is that he made those stars. And even though stars look really tiny, they only look really tiny because they're really far away. Our God is so big that he made these big, ginormous stars that we can see because they shine so bright. That is such a miracle. So I wonder if my friends like to look at the stars. I think Logan does. I think Aiden does. I think Addison does. I think Paige does. I think Aiden does. Elena does. And I don't know if Adomba does. I think Emmett does. And I think Harper does. I don't know about Abraham. Maybe Ayn does. Uh, maybe Ellie doesn't. Did I get yours right? Or did I get it wrong? Let's count and see which one, oh, which one has more. I think it's a pretty easy answer. Yes. Yes has more. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Eight, eight yeses. And the no column will be less than eight. Let's count. One, two, three. Three is less than eight. And these two numbers, when we add them up together, should be 11. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Perfect job, friends. Let's look at our letter of the week. Our letter of the week is M. We talked yesterday was for money. Today is going to be for mushroom. Mushroom. M is for mushroom. M -m mushroom. M is for mushroom. M -m mushroom. Good job. All right, so we've also been talking about how we can talk to God in our book. I hope you've been enjoying this book. I really do. I think it's so helpful to remember the things that we can do when we pray. 
God listens to me any time of the day or night. Look, the nighttime has the stars and the moon, and the daytime has the sun. I can talk to him in the morning after I get up or in the afternoon when I'm playing. I can even talk to him at night when the only light I see comes from the moon and stars. God likes for me to talk to him before I eat so I can thank him for my food. He also loves to hear me and my bedtime prayers right before I go to sleep. I always thank him for my day and I say thank you God that you never sleep and that you're always watching over me. Thank you and that thank you that you hear me anytime I pray. Sometimes I talk out loud to God, but he also hears me when I pray in my soft softest whisper. He can even hear me when I talk to him silently and the words are only in my head. When I say or think words like, thank you God, or help me God, I can always be sure that he hears them. The Bible says that he does and I believe his word. I say thank you God that you can hear me even when I'm talking softly or even when I'm talking to you in my mind. Every time I pray, God listens to and accepts my prayer, no matter what kind of prayer it is. I can pray a short prayer or a long prayer. I can pray a prayer I learned in Sunday school or church, and I can make up my own prayer. I can pray alone, or I can pray with other people. God says that praying with other people is very powerful. I can also pray for others, and I can ask them to pray for me. Sometimes, Everyone can pray together about something important to them. Praying for other people is one way that I can share God's love with them. And I say, dear God, help me pray for others often as, as often as I can. God watches over me and sees everything I do. He always wants me to do the right thing. But he still loves me when I do something wrong. And no matter what, he always wants to hear from me. If I talk to God about what I did wrong and tell him I'm sorry, he's always happy to forgive me. He promises he will always forgive me if I ask him to. And then he will help me learn to do the right thing. So I say, help me, God, to always remember to obey my parents and to obey, obey you. So we are going to remember today to, to thank God that he can hear us no matter how we pray, if it's loud, if it's quiet. And he, we're going to ask God to help us remember to pray for others, others that might not be feeling well, others that might be sad or lonely. Um, and then we would remember to, to ask God to forgive us when we do something wrong. And tomorrow we're going to talk about who gave us the ability to be forgiven. I think you might know that answer. Let's pray together, shall we? Dear God, thank you for always hearing us. Thank you for allowing us to pray any way that we can in order to communicate and be in relationship with you, God. God, we're sorry for the things that we've done wrong, and we ask that you teach us to do the right things. We love you. In your name we pray. Amen. See you tomorrow for Friday. <laughs>